Hi means health informatics and welcome to Hi5 which is health informatics in 5 minutes. The video is brought to you by Health Informatics Rapid Design Lab at PHFI, Indian Institute of Public Health, Hyderabad. Please read the disclaimer carefully and then watch the video. Today's video is part 2 on project road rate which is road research for road design, road user behavior and healthcare access. In this video we are explaining the video recording process of our project road rate. Tentatively we are planning to record almost 300 km of road and at our driving speed of about 40 to 50 km an hour this is 6-8 hours of video recording. The roads we cover are of different types, national highways, state highways, district road, rural roads and maybe just the clearings we will be driving through. I will show you the tools or devices used for video recording. The GoPro Hero 4 Black capable of 4K video but presently though we are filming just filming in 1080p simply because we do not have a 4K screen so 4K later. The camera case provide along with the camera a suction cup to attach the camera to the vehicle front windshield. I will show you how we attach very soon. The GoPro Hero 4 Black standard battery plus an extra spare battery. External Lenovo 10400 mAh power bank to recharge the GoPro battery. SanDisk Ultra Micro 64GB UHS-1 Class 10 memory card. It seems these numbers are necessary for high definition recording. 1080p is high definition for us. An 8-inch Samsung Galaxy Tab A with the GoPro Connect app installed on it to check the live view before recording. The tablet has been encased in a subcase heavy duty Unicorn Beetle Pro rugged hybrid protective case for uh, with built-in screen protection bumper. Along with the video recording, we are also recording the route of our trip using Speedometer GPS Pro, an Android app installed on to a 9.7 Samsung Galaxy Tab S2. This app is a pro version downloaded from the Google Play Store. This app can track your speed, distance, time, location, start time, time elapsed, average speed, max speed, altitude. Finally, it shows all of this information on a website with a nice looking and very easily understandable dashboard, which we will screen capture to create more evidence of our driving trip. We use some aftermarket clamps. The GoPro camera was carried around in a newer black portable shockproof case with protector pouch. Also, we used a Garmin E-Trex 20, a handheld GPS recorder to record the road as a standby recorder. A Stanley torpedo leveling tool was used. A Pentax 10x42mm DCFCS waterproof and fogproof binoculars were used for checking the road ahead, along with, of course, uh, the occasional bird watch. A Canon 6D DSLR camera was used for taking photographs of healthcare facilities. Several other smartphones and some point and shoot cameras were also used by the participants of the project Road Raid. I'm not trying to sell these products but merely mentioning in the video document so that you, the watcher, can suggest something better for the project Road Raid. I hope I have sufficiently described the settings and the equipment involved. Part of the research is to document everything and that is what I'm trying to do. These images show the GoPro camera actually attached to the vehicle. The camera gets heated up very easily so we had to remove the casing and attach an aftermarket clamp. And in the vehicle we had to position the camera close to the air conditioner. Our previous test showed that the maximum dependable battery time is an hour. So we planned our trip accordingly, stopping in several places, copying video data to clear the SD card, checking batteries and of course feeding ourselves. We will post a lot of our trip videos in future episodes of Hi5, so keep watching and check our website regularly. The websites are www.healthinformatics.in 
and www.geohealthcare.in thank you for watching